We're here right outside the Osetio Yate Liberation Camp on the day of the raid, February 22nd. Shortly after 4 p.m., police uh, charged forward, charging a group of both press and water protectors, snatching, I've heard numbers between 5 and 15 people. I was about 200 yards away, so I didn't see firsthand. I saw from a side angle of the road. You can see the riot line has moved back about 50 yards from where they initially were and are now uh, reorganizing for their next move. They're currently at the front entrance of the Oseti Oyate camp. Photographer Rob Wilson was approaching the gate. I'm unsure if he is arrested in custody. Uh, we took slightly different paths, about 250 yards from the main gate. He went more through the mud, more direct on the main road. I took a different route towards Media Hill, and I currently can't find him. So Rob Wilson Photography uh, may be arrested along with other journalists. So you can see right now, thank you Pua for, for praying. And all the, the prayers sent here to the water protectors are, are felt. We know there's people throughout the camp um, walking around in their structures, still in there. Police have yet to enter. Have yet to enter camp. Police are looking antsy right there. I'm going to zoom in. So share this video out. Feel free to screenshot these images. I'll keep you informed as to the uh, people that were arrested. Sounds like there was potentially some in injuries. Um, I was on the side walking up. Uh, could not go live quick enough and then the feed was jammed. Thank you for those that have come to Standing Rock to stand with water protectors. Thank you for watching to bear witness. Okay, so you can see right now there's a red arrestable bus. I'm going to zoom in. You see that red right there? That's bringing arrestees away. There have been arrests, as I said. They charge the crowd. Right there, you can see the red bus is going behind. They charge the crowd and arrested people. Those arrestees are now bringing to what I assume is Morton County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the jail, the unified Morton County, uh, the Mandan, Bismarck Jail. It's cold, it's wet, the mud is thick in spots and thin in others. Um, I've seen people slip throughout the day. For those uh, just tuning in unaware, they just rushed the crowd a short time ago, arrested journalists and water protectors between 6 and 15. You can share the video out. The rest have started. They're near the entrance. They have not entered camp. The front entrance area of camp. You can see people down below, lingering people in cars. The front entrance of camp. The front entrance of camp. That sign in green says, Truth and Fear. Hey, Ed, have you seen Rob? I seen who? Rob. No, not yet. I think he may have got picked off when they did that. He was coming up this way. I was coming up over here, and I don't see him. So if you do, let him uh, know I'm good. So you can see police are up on the hills. Uh, we don't know if those are private security on the left. Uh, those are police up there, the, the hill where Last Child's Camp was. You can see the main entrance. So thank you so much for your prayers and support for the water protectors on the ground here. Police have batons, OC spray, and you can see they have riot helmets on, shields. You can see there's flags, and we're here in uh, Flag Row. I'm going to show you a close-up of this 
sign. You can see a scattering of people here. Sign points to truth at the camp. Yoseti Cohen, now Oseti Oyate Liberation Camp. This land is stolen land. Stolen both from the treaty and from the flooding to create the Lake Oahe Dam. The 2 p.m. deadline passed. They pushed the deadline to 4 o'clock. Almost slipped there. You could see truth, the camp, fear, a line of riot police. A fitting image for today, after months of a peaceful, prayerful camp, disrupted continuously by dapple private security mercenaries, police, infiltrators, and through all of that people stood firm, held firm in prayer, in peace, in love. 700 plus tribes and letters of support, 22 cities from around the country. I don't know about the conditions of anybody that was arrested hearing of potential injuries. Rob Wilson, photographer, may be arrested. The line of riot police has moved back now about 100 yards. I think Rob may have been arrested. What's that? Have you seen him over here? He's right there, sitting down. Oh, that's good. He was approaching it as they were. Okay, so it looks like Rob is likely not arrested. So that's good. I'm going to come down here to see his perspective of what happened as he came up that road. I thought you were arrested, man. You're coming up the hill and then everybody started running and then you weren't up on the road. So this is Rob, not arrested. We were sitting here talking about if they were to run in here, how fast we're going to run, and how it's going to be funny to see them So Rob's not arrested. They did arrest uh, some other press. They did arrest some other water protectors, and they charged the crowd. Oh, I was like, damn. How did you know that? So, you know, 500 years of colonialism and once again police bureau of indian affairs park rangers sheriff's department national guard surveillance planes drones helicopters all set upon a peaceful and prayerful camp meant to, to protect the water for the next seven generations and they've decided to protect big oil to protect Dapple. In the crowd here, you could say Maniwachoni, no Dapple, continually protecting that which is needed for life. The riot line is retreating now 150 yards, back 100 yards from the barricade. You can see the access road for the last child's camp. Keep sending your prayers and support. All the supplies, be it hand warmers or boots or love or letters. Everybody reads every one of those letters that you've sent. Those hats you've knitted, the gloves. Keep our hands warm. It's much appreciated.
ground so do they need I know, I know that. Grandma Redfeather and, and Grandma Roland are on the team. Okay, so we have we have we have uh, Holy Elk, Mom. Holy Elk, Holy Elk. Out, and then we have Dory. With the Michigan grandmother, there's one now. See Unicorn Riot on the scene. You can see Riot Police. I'm gonna get a sound check. Sound check. One, two, three. Thousand water protectors. You can see Ed Higgins on the scene reporting. Clearly a trustworthy source. You can see the surveillance plane flies overhead continuously. It seems to be affecting signal. So you can see a line of uh, flags. So we're now in front of the barricade. So we're now at the entrance of the Osetio Yate camp. Police moved about 60 yards, 70, 80 yards behind the entrance here in that direction. They moved about 200 yards back. You can see this is the main entrance, Echo 1. Revolution will not be televised. Revolution will not be televised. Get up, get up, get moving. You can see shelters throughout camp. Veterans for Peace flag. So if you're watching this, share this video out. We're unsure of what police tactics they're gonna use next. They rushed the crowd, snatched people, now they've retreated. They've not brought in any of the armored vehicles or tanks into camp yet. They seem to be, to see if that would disperse the crowd of peaceful water protectors and press. Didn't seem to work. Looks like they're reassessing the situation. You can see that some of the, the veterans that have came Unfortunately, as you can see, some are here So thank you to those that are standing with the water protectors here that have helped on the ground clean up